Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to choose the right laptop. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to choose the right laptop for you and make sure you don't overspend or underspend on your laptop. So the first thing to do is work out how much you want to spend. What is your budget? That is really important because this will determine what you can actually do with your laptop. So if you're on a tight budget and you only want to spend $600, don't expect to be doing hardcore gaming on a $600 laptop because it's just not going to happen. So be realistic with your budget. And that will go on to the next question, which is what do you want the laptop for? Do you want to be playing games on your laptop, some light gaming? Do you want to do accounting or video editing? Or do you just want to surf the web and look at some YouTube videos or watch movies? Once you work all that stuff out, this will determine how much you're going to be needing to spend on a laptop. Next, choose the right size of laptop. Do you need a 13 inch model screen or do you want a 17 inch model screen? And then once you decide that, you'll need to choose the screen resolution. Are you looking for 1366 by 768 pixels or are you looking for a 1920 by 1080 or even higher? The higher the resolution, the more money you're going to have to spend. Do you need a touchscreen? If you don't, then you can move on to the next one, which is the screen panel. The one on this laptop is an IPS panel. It has 120 hertz, which is your refresh rate. The TN panels are pretty cheap. To, uh, to produce they've got low viewing angles but they do have high refresh rates and false response times but they also have poor viewing angles and bad color reproduction whereas the ips panels do have excellent viewing angles and excellent color reproduction and color accuracy so you're going to have a much better viewing the same with the oled uh, panels as well so the cheaper panels are going to be the tn panels ba panels are not too bad as well they're they're okay they're using those quite a lot more nowadays but the, your ips panels and your oled panels are going to cost you much more of a premium on laptops so bear that in mind but if you do a lot of uh, video editing and you want to do a lot of graphic work or gaming then look for the better quality panels because you get better color reproduction and color accuracy with those panels next up we're going to be taking a look at the keyboard and touchpad. This is something that a lot of people overlook, but if you're using the keyboard quite a lot and you're doing a lot of typing, then it's important that you have a quality keyboard on that laptop. Some of the budget uh, laptops don't really have a really good quality keyboard, and uh, you want to make sure that that is exactly what you need if you're doing that type of work. Do you need a backlit keyboard? Again, this is more power drain on the battery, so do you need it? If you do need it, then make sure it's got that uh, backlit keyboard on it next thing is this touchpad if you use the touchpad or you're going to be using the touchpad and it's important that you get a good quality touchpad on your laptop because some of them are not that good and you definitely want to get a good one if you're going to be using the touchpad next up is to choose the processor whether you want amd or intel some people swear by intel and some people like amd amd seems to be really sort of making it big in the laptop industry right now and they're probably some of the best cpus to go for next up is the dedicated graphics or onboard graphics dedicated graphics means it has its own uh, designated graphics card inside the laptop and onboard graphics means it's running on a chip so really depends on what you want to go with here if you're looking to play games or you're looking to do video editing or graphic work and things like that then look for a dedicated graphics card like this one this has the rtx 3060 on it and this will be plenty for uh, gaming and also video editing photoshop and all that sort of stuff so depending on what you're going to be doing with your laptop this will determine in the price as well because these are more expensive next up we're going to be taking a look at what sort of ports you need so what type of ports do you need on your laptop there's a lot of different laptops out there that come with loads of ports or very few ports. Also, a lot of gaming laptops are going to come with these big ventilation uh, ports on them here. You can see on the side and on the back, we have two big ones on the back as well. These are exhaust fans that are going to draw out heat from the laptop to keep it nice and cool. Because it's a gaming laptop with an RTX uh, 3060 in here, there's going to be some heat generated inside these and the heat needs to be pushed out of the laptop and this does take up a bit of real estate uh, for those ports and stuff but you can see here they've put them all on the back here we have an ethernet port 
uh, type C connections and USB ports and HDMI ports. So just make sure you get a laptop with all the required ports that you need because you don't want to be carrying hubs and extension uh, docking stations with you just because you don't have enough ports on the laptop. Now, another thing to take into account here is battery life. Battery life is essential to a lot of people, especially for people that have no way of getting power to their laptop. So if you're doing long journeys and you don't have access to a nearby cafe or a power outlet, then having a long battery life is super important. So try to get one that has long battery life. Again, backlit keyboards and uh, high-end uh, gaming laptops are not going to have long battery life. They are going to literally eat battery like no tomorrow. So always make sure you check the battery life and how long they last. Now, generally, small, lightweight laptops offer superior battery life compared to larger models with larger screens and higher-end uh, graphics because they don't require much more battery. Another thing to take into account is the specifications. This is your CPU, your RAM, your storage. So if you're doing video editing and gaming and things like that, you're gonna probably need to get yourself a much more higher end CPU, like an i5 or an i7. And if you're just doing some light work, then an i3 is gonna be perfectly fine. There's also some other options available when it comes to CPUs as well, which are a lot more affordable. When it comes to RAM, make sure the RAM is not soldered to the board and make sure you can upgrade it to a reasonable amount of RAM. Same thing for the storage. Make sure you've got plenty of storage available and make sure that you can upgrade your storage as well. Lastly, let's talk about laptop weights. There's many different sizes of laptops out there, some lightweight ones and some real heavy ones. Some of the gaming ones are going to be super heavy. And if you don't need to have that sort of a weight uh, to carry it around, maybe you travel a lot or maybe you're at uni and you don't need that sort of power, then don't go for a big heavy sort of laptop. The screen size is going to play a big part in the weight as well. This gaming sort of laptop I have here has a pretty beefy power supply that comes with it and that does weigh a bit as well. So bear that all in mind when you come to buying your laptop. Now to keep this video short and sweet, I've not really gone into massive amounts of detail on all of these subjects because the video would be over an hour long and I don't think anyone's going to watch it. So hopefully this video has been some sort of use to you and you've got some sort of idea of what to look for when you're buying a laptop. Now the two most important questions were at the beginning of the video. What is your budget and what is the laptop for? If you can answer those two questions, then you will know exactly how much this laptop is going to cost you. Because if you only want to surf the web and look on YouTube and do some emails, then you are not going to be spending vast amounts of money on a laptop. But if your requirements are video editing, uh, you know, uh, playing games at a higher spec, then you're going to be spending a lot more money on a laptop. For those who are interested where I purchased mine, I got mine on box and I paid just over about 730 odd pounds for mine. I think it was, it was on a deal and uh, I paid 700 odd pound for it. So deals can be found if you're just patient. This is not a sponsored video for all those people that like to say that in the comments. It is a Lenovo Legion 5, AMD Ryzen 5, also 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabyte SSD NVMe drive and RTX 3060 15.6 inch screen with 120 hertz uh, gaming laptop. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.